Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I was asking myself and I asked other people, why is it that only one side is allowed to uh, uh, create words or tell the rest of us what words are acceptable and what words are not acceptable? What words are offensive and what words now became us offensive? Like, for instance, fat. Uh, nowadays, if I go and call someone based on his or her condition and I use the dictionary term to identify the condition, uh, I would be called this because I am offending. And, but it's a word. Someone somewhere decided for all of us that that word, fat, is someone derogatory. Or, you know, it's not nice, which is the definition of uh, the condition. Uh, it depends how you use it, how often you use it, and so on. Any word could come uh, derogatory if you put in a certain kind of context. Now, nowadays, you have to call a big boned or big or, I don't know, maybe beautiful. I don't know. They're going to get to that extent. So I wondered, who are these guys who know better and they know what words should be used and what words we should not use uh, when we refer to certain conditions or situations? And I realized that these are just a few that simply say, from now on, you're going to gonna call this thing gay. You're not going to call it that way because that's a slur or that's this and that. And the problem is not that some people came and said it. You can say a lot of things and a lot of times. The problem is that the rest of us did not oppose it, did not refuse to say, no, you are not the one who decides here. I didn't vote for you. For instance, if you go at work and over there you use dictionary words to refer to certain things or certain entities, you could get yourself in trouble because those now are considered and some will consider them as being bad words or slurs or something like that. What are you going to do? Are you going to have a conversation with idiots? But how did that come into being you know, threatening? you will adapt to that because they're going to be negative consequences if you don't obey. And now Elon Musk hits back. Now the other side hits back at these guys. So they've been in charge for the past 30 or 40 years, maybe more, maybe 40 years from the 1980s. Right? They were in charge of recreating our vocabulary, what's acceptable in the society and what kind of language is not acceptable. And they had the megaphone, they had the news and entertainment and the Hollywood and the politicians followed. Now you have this crazy guy called Elon Musk and he's saying, wait a minute, on my Twitter account, this word is going to be considered a slur. The other side doesn't go down without a fight like this side went for 40 years. So I uh, um, appreciate their feistiness. That's good. Putting a fight. That's good. So let's see what's going on here. I have two articles, one from Forbes and the other one from Russia Today. And uh, let's start with the one in Forbes, obviously. Elon Musk says cisgen cisgender now considered a slur on Twitter. So he decided that from now on the word cis or cisgender is going to be considered a slur and your channel, your whatever you got, um, your account will be closed uh, temporarily and possibly permanently if you continue. So Elon Musk has declared the words cis and cisgender are now considered slurs on Twitter, according to a tweet the billionaire owner sent early Wednesday. The words don't show up in any of Twitter's officially published guidelines and the move would be unique in the world of social media. You think so? Let me say a few words here on YouTube right now. And I guess this video will not, uh, you will not view this video ever. And this, I think it's called social media, isn't it? Uh, where major platforms like Facebook do not consider cisgender to be a slur. Well, that's their choice. But that might be opposed by some who say, well, it should be. So who said it should not and who said it should? Now, 
it says, the, uh, I'm quoting, the cis, the words cis or cisgender are considered slurs on this platform, end quote. Musk tweeted shortly after midnight as Eastern time in response to a user who claimed he was being harassed by trans rights activists because, uh, you know, we like inclusion and we like uh, tolerance and uh, no, all that. So I read about it. They were calling him CC. And uh, he said, well, what's going on here? You wouldn't like if we, I would call you something too. The word cisgender, pop, 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 they tried to make a point here like, hey, it's just the same thing as the opposite of transgender. Okay, well, uh, right here it is. James, James Asses. <laughs> Asses? Isis? Yesterday, after posting a tweet saying that I reject the word cis and don't wish to be called it, I received a slew of messages from trans activists calling me sissy, end quote, and telling me that I am cis whether or not I like it. Just imagine if the roles were reversed, Jess James tweeted. Elon Musk said, repeated targeted harassment against any account will cause the harassing accounts to receive at minimum temporary suspensions. The words, and I'm quoting cis or cisgender, are considered slurs on this platform. This is what he said and uh, his platform and he, um, I guess, gonna change our way of uh, seeing the word cis now. I, for instance, I am very much opposed of certain women, only some kind of women, being called Karens. I think that's a big, big, big slur. And I hear uh, uh, certain people calling other people Karens. But if you call the other people a gaga, then everybody's going to say, oh my God, I'm offended. That is See how it works? So again, I think Karen is negative, as you would say. I it's stereotyping, it's exaggerating, it's narrowing down. You can use all kind of words they taught us. You know, you're insensitive, you're an offensive, and blah, 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 blah. And what they say, well, do something about it. We own you. Oh, okay, that's the way it is, actually. They own the dictionary nowadays. This is from Russia Today, June 22nd, 2023. J.K. Rowling backs Elon Musk's cisgender ruling. So... I don't know much about this person. I know that she got in trouble with some idiots because she uh, did not agree with their, their agenda. Therefore, the tolerant uh, became uh, more tolerant. Harry Potter author Rowling tweeted her support for Twitter owner Elon Musk's now policy classifying the terms cis and cisgender as targeted harassment on Wednesday. And I'm quoting, cis is ideological language signifying belief in the unfalsifiable concept of gender identity, end quote, she wrote in the tweet. Continuing, and I'm quoting her, you have a perfect right to believe in unapprovable essences that may or may not match the sex, sexed body, but the rest of us have a right to disagree and to refuse to adopt your jargon. Exactly, that's why it is. Good job, baby doll. Uh, you already scored some points over here. So I'm not going to go further than that because I don't want to. Um, I'm, my point here is that uh, who is in charge and who appointed those guys of being in charge? That's the whole, the whole thing here. Look, and the problem is only certain, only one side is allowed to um, uh, model, create our vocabulary, accepted vocabulary in a society. The other side, no, because the other ones are knuckle draggers or something. You know, Ooh, let's go. And they were for 40 years. The problem is those knuckle draggers, right, they can uh, win if they take on these guys. Intellectually, in, in, in any endeavor, maybe in the whistle ship, no. But uh, intellectually and, uh, you know, as uh, I think they are much, much uh, uh, winners. Winners. All right, my friends, that's the whole thing. I'm glad when you have competition and you don't have dictatorship and tyranny, which is only one side dictating to the rest of us how we should behave in a society because, I don't know, they uh, have the right to do that. I don't know why. <laughs> they have a PhD in manners or something. 
mannerism. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.